going live. I was glued to it trying to find mistakes. Joining us to dish on how it really went down is Dr. Ray Cummings, the ever so lovely, a dear friend, Linda Dano. Hi, Linda. Hey, Cindy. How are you? I'm wonderful. How you didn't are... see any mistakes? No. Well, I made one. No, well, tell me. Well, when I couldn't remember the name of the restaurant when I was talking to Carrie, and I said, um, after I butchered the Chez Pierre, I then said, easy for you to say. That was not scripted. I saw that, and I thought it was you just like playing. No, I mean, I was playing. It, it, it was just, I, it, there was a moment there that I, I, it tickled me so that I couldn't say the name that I, <laughs> that I, I threw in the thing easy for you to say. But, uh, yeah, that was not scripted. Well, I'll, you know what, Sandy, we got to pull that, and we'll show everybody tomorrow because I missed it. You're good. But is it, how, in general, how'd it go? Oh, my God. We, we were so proud of ourselves. We did it. We, everybody was great. Uh, the crew, everybody. Uh, you know, it's quite a, a feat to do this. Well, you know, a lot of people forget, uh, Linda, that, you know, of course the actors are under a lot of pressure, but my goodness, so, uh, so are the, the camera people, oh lighting. God. Uh, uh, probably more than us. Uh, uh, because uh, they have to whiz up and down that studio um, eight cameras not bump into each other. Right. They can't make any noise. And I didn't see the, I was looking for a camera jiggle. But now today, Susan Batten, ex Luna, we yeah. caught her. Yeah, was that fun? She made when, a guess. When little Eddie says, you know, I see dead people, and all of a sudden there she is. Exactly. And they're going to do more of that. You're going to see some more, um, you know, people that used to be on One Life, and they're coming back. And also, now, now, tomorrow, of course, again, is live. Mm -hmm. And does it get, do you have any secrets or hints you can? Well, I'm going to, I'll tell you one thing. Something really interesting and fun happens uh, with two characters that you okay. will not believe. By the way, Linda, happy birthday. Thank you, I honey. I know it was yesterday, but did it you know? Was. Mine is today. Thank you. We're happy birthday happy to Happy birthday. We're good Tauruses. Yeah, we are. Anyway, today's episode was really, really good. We're looking great. forward to the rest I of the week. I think the whole week is going to be great. Gary Tomlin, the exec producer, decided when he wanted to do this not to be careful. So there's lots of stuff going on. Well, I can't wait. Thank you so much, Linda. Tell everybody I said hi. I will. I will. Talk. Say to hide everybody there. All righty. Talk All to right, you honey. later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I feel good when someone calls me honey. <laughs> Up next, a procedure that many of your favorite soap stars, listen to this, are getting and it's impacting their acting. Susan Walters, who plays Diane on The Young and the Restless, got Botox. And she said it was really funny trying to make an angry glare in a confrontation scene because her forehead was frozen. More Botox boom in just a second. Go go away. what this kind of party is based on except with your sparkling water and your shrimp appetizer you get an injection of Botox we're gonna see what it feels like how much it costs and why would you do it in a party setting Liz is our first guinea pig or candidate she's getting ready to get Botox right after this cheers Liz cheers Have you ever admired the facial feature of a star? Well, nowadays, with all the advances in cosmetic surgery, if you got the money, you can get it. But first, we want to go backstage to our green room where Alisa Jaffe is uh, hanging out. Alisa, I've heard of Botox, but what, what's the deal with this Botox party? What's happening? This is the newest rage. You know, Tupperware parties were big, but now in L.A. and even here in Seattle, they're getting Botox done in group settings. It's okay to have um, a... a a, a, to be two-faced, but it's not okay to have a double chin in Hollywood, and it's okay to be highbrow, but it's not okay to have a, a furrowed brow. So they're mixing their shrimp. Hold on. And they're going to these party settings. Dr. Henri Gaborio, excuse me, I've got my mouth full, <laughs> is going to inject a little bit of Botox in Liz here. And before I ask you what is Botox, why would you do this in a group setting? That's what I want to know from you. <laughs> I'm still questioning why. <laughs> How scared are you? Well, look at me. <laughs> Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, that's what I hear is I hear people go to these parties and think, oh, it's not going to happen to me. I'm fine. Maybe I'll just go and watch what happens. And then all of a sudden they see one person get it and another person get it. And then they get it too. I guess that's what's happening. I'm just, a, I just follow the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> 
So tell me, what is Botox? I, I mean, I think you're putting poison in her head. That's what it feels it is like. True. Yes, that it is, is true. It is true. It is totally true. This is uh, basically it's uh, it's a toxin uh, that we normally f it's known under the name of botulism. You know, with the tin can, the old tin can that has been you know rotten. This right? is what it is. So, do you still want this botulism all eroded tin can to be I'm, injected I'm into committed. your head? I'm committed. I'm committed. Okay, so now how do we make it safe? And okay. What's it going to do to her head? Uh, it <laughs> is safe for one good reason: is that um, the uh, the toxic dose is about three thousand unit uh, to our, you know to arrive to the toxic dose, and we use like for today. On least we're going to use 15 units, so the safety margin is really big. Okay. So there's no uh, side effect of it, and there's no, you know, fear. You should not have any fear of having, you know, a, a total paralysis. Okay. If you get a little squeamish, don't watch because he's going to inject okay. the needle in okay. right now. And I want you to describe what it's feeling like I as it happens. Yes, you can. You know what? I'll take your mind okay, off I have it to. while it's going. What well, we're going to do right now is that, um, like, smile for me, Liz. Yeah. Smile. So you can <laughs> see this is what we call the laugh line. Or we call it see the craft feet. So what we're going to do right now is inject, you know, right here. So I we put like my finger him. right here. Oh. Lines. Small stick. Okay. I, That's you it. You want me to talk? I want you to tell me what it That's feels it. like. Does it hurt? It no. It doesn't. Stick. It doesn't hurt at all. No. Well, yeah, the needle, but that's all. Small stick. Does it feel like a regular shot that you might get at the doctor? Yes, or? it does. It's not that bad. So basically, I could do a lot more pain if I hit you in the arm on the other side. Yes. <laughs> Am I supposed to smile? I could ruin Very it. Good. If she smiles, will yeah. that that hurt anything? Not or? at all. Not we at all. could go somewhere else. Hey, Alicia, yeah. everybody is squeam squeamish in here. What are you thinking of this? <laughs> Very interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> Howard, you got a question? Go ahead. I'm obviously beyond hope, but my wife was wondering how much one of these Botox parties cost. I want to know how much it costs. Yeah, so if you have a party, does it cost for the, just the party and then everybody gets free shots of Botox, or then does it cost for per person and it, per injection? Yeah, it costs per person and per injection, and uh, it really depends which area you get. Most of the people get in between the eyes, you can do the forehead, and you can do the coffee. This is pretty much the three areas that people you know, ask, and each area is different price. Okay, so if she wanted her, uh, her brow done, how much would that cost? It goes between 400 to 500. Okay, and for the crow's feet? Crow's feet is about 300. Okay. Now, do you like your laugh lines? Do you like your crow's feet? Or is this something when you look in the mirror, it, it bothers you? Yeah, it bothers me. It does bother you? I don't you. mind some. Uh huh. But not as many as there are now. So why Botox as opposed to getting um, surgery? Because it's not forever. If I didn't like it, it would just goes away after a while. Let me grab a couple of quick okay. questions, Alicia. Go ahead, Eileen. You put on a brave face, but I'd like to know how much it really hurt. How much does it hurt? How much does it really, really hurt? No, it really doesn't hurt. That really didn't hurt. Somebody said it's just like getting a pinch like that. Yeah. Here, let me pinch you for a second. Okay, pinch. Okay. Is it like that? Pinching you yeah. like that? Yeah. Oh, I just did with my nails, pinching her, and that's all it felt like. No, I'm not, I'm not just saying that. Mm -hmm. Because it's him. It, yeah, it okay. really didn't hurt. It really didn't hurt. Okay, I can't Susan, think it that good. Susan's got a question. Go, Susan. Well. well, I know he said there wasn't any side effects, but I was wondering, is there any swelling? Um, can you see the, where the needle went in? That's correct, yes. You're going to have some swelling for maybe about less than an hour. For about an hour, you may see some swelling. You may see a little bit of redness. Mm -hmm. Now, that's pretty much it. Uh, normally, what I tell my patients, for four hours, you cannot work out. I'm asking them not to rub, you know, the, the, uh, the area so if that you, injected. So if you rubbed it, would it maybe drip down and all of a sudden the That's poison correct. could go here and your face Absolute, could droop? Yeah, not the face. Thanks. <laughs> well, but it no, is, sorry. <laughs> it, it, is, it, it, it is true if you do inject at the level of the abra right here. If you do inject right here and the patient starts, you know, massaging it and pushing it down, it can go rather at the level of the upper eyelid and then you have what we call a tarsus or droopy eyelid. That all right. could happen. Why don't you all continue the Botox party? On the line with us is Richard Fleming. He comes out with annual, uh, the annual Hollywood Hottest Looks. Hi, Richard. How are you? Good afternoon. Hey, uh, I want to just go right down some of the list because we've we got a Botox party going here and we've got people who are interested in different facial features and we're watching somebody get stuck here with a needle. What's the most requested star facial feature? Is it, is it the nose? Well, the most requested surgery is nose, rhinoplasty, uh, the nose job. Yes, that's the most common cosmetic operation. And I've, heard, I've heard Nicole Kidman's got the one everybody likes. Is that right? That, hers, and also Heather Locklear. How about, how about for men? For men, for noses, uh, Edward Burns, Antonio Banderas, Ben Affleck. Good. A lot more options. Now, what would be the next? If you didn't do the nose, what would be the, the next thing you'd, that you see most of? Um, the next most common procedure is liposuction, um, but on facial features, it would be eyes, um, and with respect to eyes, Brad Pitt's eyes are, are described um, 
Heather Graham, Catherine Zeta-Jones. When you said Brad Pitt, you just went, oh, what was that? I just, oh, no, no, hot. No, no, I, was, I was going on to other oh, people. Hot. No, no. Uh, Brad Pitt, Elijah Wood, Ewan McGregor. What people are doing, they're not coming in and asking to be like these people. They're taking advantage of public figures to describe a physical feature they like. If I ask you to describe your nose to me on the phone, you couldn't do it. Mine's the size of a Buick. Hey, yes, I, but, I, I, but, well, but you still, even even if that's the case, you can't describe it to me. Well, how about describe now? Describe to me your favorite painting. Yeah. You can't. So what people are doing, it's difficult for them to describe a physical feature or describe a nose they want. Mm -hmm. So they use celebrities and public figures because it's a visual. Let it's me ask. Uh, I'm going to ask our audience here. How about hair? What, 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 whose hair do you like? Uh, well, he mentioned Nicole Kidman. She's got hair to die for. But then you've got um, um, others that are just, I mean, gorgeous oh, knockdowns. Somebody said friends. Jan Jennifer Aniston. Who, whose hair? Whose hair do people like? Jennifer was number one on our list mm -hmm. this year. Julia Roberts is frequently there. Deborah Messing is always talked about with respect to hair. How about guys' hair? Guys' hair. Tom Cruise. Pierce yeah. Brosnan. This is like next. What is your name? <laughs> I'm Barb. She's saying that just before you're saying it. Tom, <laughs> Pierce. What, what is it about their hair? What is it? Just you don't want to. You said you didn't want to look like the star. Does it? Does it make them feel better to have that? Do they think they have star quality? Why do people want that? Are you talking to her? I'm to talking me? to you. I'm sorry. Go I'm ahead, sorry. Richard. <laughs> okay. Um, no, it's just it's just a physical characteristic they like, and they. If they want hair, if that's what they're going to do, which is much more common among men, obviously, uh, with surgery, they're going to describe these individuals' hair if that's what they'd like to achieve. Okay, hang that's on all for we're saying. Great, hang on for a moment. We'll talk more. Also, check in with the Botox party and collagen lip injections. Yeah, they're going to do that at our party. Coming up next.